Hello, my name's Joey and welcome to my tour of props and artifacts. Now today, we've come to a fire station, thanks to my friend Carl, who saw it, what was it on, um, didn't Jason Brightman, no, he tweeted, what did he do, did he tweet? He didn't he tweeted, mention anything about this. <laughs> he tweeted that he was in Tottenham, didn't he, or something? Yes. And Carl then thought, ah, oh, I'm going to Google image fire station from Tottenham. So we came to the fire station thinking that this is probably where they might maybe one day film Ghostbusters 5. Now not only were we disappointed by the size of it, but we were supposed to come in Ecto-1 and um, that wasn't working either. So we've had great fun, and uh, but everything's been a bit of an anti-climax, but it's been great fun because we've had time to spend with each other. So I thought, as I'm at the fire station, what I've always wanted to do is just give you a very, very quick tour of the Ghostbusters outfit. And uh, that was it. So, anyway, here we go. So, you've all seen the Ghostbusters pack. Uh, this is the full outfit in all its glory. Um, lots and lots of wires to make it look dangerous and to make it look like it's... Uh, yeah, I don't think it's Exactly, <laughs> to make it look like... <laughs> I wanted hecklers, it's great. Um, to make it look like it's dangerous. And um, I always like to go my own way with uh, the thing so there's obviously my own version of the gizmo bearing in mind a lot of this stuff was built over 20 years ago well almost over 20 years ago in 2004 and of course i've got my own custom made hook there for the uh the uh, neutrona wand which i almost uh missed and then of course yeah lots of different wires just to kind of um add to the effect of different jobs different equipment uh, it's one of the privileges of working in a prop hire company you can always get hold of some really interesting wires and bits and pieces oh i might as well just give it a little fire up as well just to show you how it is in person when it's not being uh, static so there we go let's give it a burst What's that? let some gas out and then finally power it down <laughs> So that was uh, another brief tour. I mean, there's not really much you can say about the Ghostbusters uniform. Um, I always wanted it to look like how they are in the films, and they're covered in slime. Um, you notice a lot of the slime stains in uh, Ghostbusters 1 when they dry up. It kind of looks a bit like coffee, that kind of thing. So, and this is um, this was a German police set of overalls that I had to get the collar taken in to look like an old uh, American Air Force set of overalls. And uh, yeah, this is it. This is the only one that I could find in grey because I shall leave on the last thing. Now in the film they say the boy's in grey. Now these belts, they were white and they dyed them grey to match the uniforms. Because in Ghostbusters 2, they use the car key belts. Now why in Ghostbusters 1 would they not just use the car key belts if the uniforms were car key? But we all know they bought a military police belt, dyed it grey, it was white, they dyed it grey. Why did they dye it grey? The boys in grey. And the very... How you doing? Ghostbusters! Thank you very much. <laughs> and, if you worked on Ghostbusters 1 in 1984, you got a jacket which was grey, with a Ghostbusters logo on it. That's all I'm going to say, boys in grey. Probably started an argument. Anyway, as I always say, um, they were definitely khaki suits probably died grey some of them didn't die that well so who knows anyway as always say thank you very much for watching look after yourself see you later and uh take care cool